Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. Lots of purple and a little green. Those are two of the prettiest colors I've ever seen. <laughs> Who could it be? Why, I think it looks a lot like me. That's right, Barney. I painted a picture of you. Oh, thank you, Robert. I think it's too stupendous. <laughs> We'd 
better get cleaned up. Yeah, I don't think I want my hands to stay like this. Oh, and right. <laughs> well then, let's step right up to the sink. It's the perfect place to wash messy hands. My mom says it's important to keep my hands clean because it helps me to stay healthy. Oh, that's right, Kristen. Washing your hands before you eat, after you use the bathroom, and when you're finished playing, helps keep germs away. Ooh, this water feels warm. Ooh. And don't forget to use some soap, Robert. This soap makes lots of bubbly suds. Oh, it sure does. To stay healthy and clean, just scrub, scrub, scrub while you make suds, suds, suds. <laughs> squishy, squishy, squashy. Give your hands a washy. Oh, squishy, squishy, squashy. Give your hands a washy. You can't wear out your skin. So squishy, squashy, wash your hands all clean. Oh. Germs are oh so small. Germs are oh so small. You can't see them at all. You can't see them at all. You can't taste them. them. You can't, can't see them. them. And after you wash, wash I wouldn't, wouldn't want to be them. Oh, no. So squishy, squashy, wash your hands. Sleepover's lots of fun. Yeah, it really is, especially at Aunt Paula's house. She gave me this cool suitcase to carry my things in when I sleep over. Let's see? I've packed my comb, my brush, and some shampoo. So you can wash your hair. Uh huh. My Aunt Paula and I really have fun pretending we're getting our hair done. Oh. And here's my toothbrush and my toothpaste. I always brush my teeth before I go to bed. Me too, Robert. My aunt says it's important to brush your teeth twice a day so they're clean and healthy. <laughs> and for a beautiful smile. Here are my PJs and my slippers. And of course, my favorite doll, Annie. Oh, it looks like you've packed everything you need for a good night's sleep. Well, there is one more thing my Aunt Paula does for me before I go to sleep. What's that? She sings my favorite bedtime songs. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. make me sleepy. <laughs> and speaking of sleeping, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? All day long. All day long. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. <laughs> sleepy time, lullaby. So what exactly do you do at a sleepover party? Get ready for bed and sleep? 
Well, not before we have some fun. We usually watch some silly old movies, and my aunt makes us lots and lots of popcorn to eat. Mm. Ooh, I love popcorn. Me too. You'd really like this popcorn. My aunt sprinkles it with yummy toppings. Oh, oh, oh yum. <laughs> that sounds delicious. I could eat some popcorn right now. Let's make some. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, boy. Oh, there's nothing better than popcorn. It's fun to make and even more fun to eat. <laughs> Did someone say popcorn? Oh? Why, I love popcorn almost as much as nuts. <laughs> oh, popcorn is delicious. Especially caramel popcorn. It's quite delicious indeed. I can almost taste it now. Oh, you're making me really hungry, oh. Miss Etta. Hey, guys, let me make the popcorn. Oh, <laughs> I'll meet you up in the treehouse. Oh, all right, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, enough talking. I got to get popping. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Oh, you can hear it. You can see it. You can smell it. You can eat it. You, you can, can hear it, see it, smell it, eat it, touch it, crunch it, taste it, lunch it. Popcorn is really neat. Fun to make and fun to eat. Popcorn is a pop pop, ever pop and never top and just stop and say any kind of treat. Ooh. <laughs> The corn starts little, then it pops to a poppin' popcorn beat. Oh, fills the popper to the top, and then it's time to eat! Popcorn is really neat, fun to make and fun to eat. Popcorn is a pop pop, ever bubble, never top, and just stop and see me kind of treat. Pop 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 popcorn! I can hear it playing! Oh. Pop 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 popcorn! I can smell it making. Pop, 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 popcorn. I can see it shaking. Whoa, whoa. Pop, 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 popcorn. Time to do some tasting. I, I can hardly wait. wait. You can hear it, see it, smell it, eat it, touch it, crunch it, taste it, munch it. Popcorn, popcorn is really neat. Fun to make and fun to eat. Popcorn is a pop, pop, ever bucking, never top and shut stuff. If my nose knows anything, it knows that yummy smell is coming from inside the treehouse. Oh, I hope your nose is right, because I'm right behind you! <laughs> hey, guys! Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Do I smell popcorn? Oh, you sure do. Would you like to have some with us? Oh, you bet. I want some. Oh, oh yummy. I love popcorn. I like lots of popcorn. Can I have right. some popcorn? Well, oh, then, to get it, everybody! Yes, I can I can oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> My mom says I should always brush my teeth after I eat. Oh, that's right, Jeff. Brushing your teeth after eating helps keep your teeth clean and safe from germs. Worms? Are there worms on our teeth? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what? Ay, 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 sissy! He said germs, not worms. Oh. <laughs> well, it still sounds pretty yucky, Barney. Oh, well, Baby Buff, we can get rid of germs by brushing our teeth up and down and all around. Oh, that's good, because I like to brush my teeth. You know, maybe we should brush our teeth now, since we just ate popcorn. Oh, that's a great idea, Kristen. Let's brush, everybody. <laughs> Bye.
bottom Cause I wouldn't want to say that I forgot him But while I'm brushing my teeth and having so much fun I never let the water run No, I never let the water run I like to hear the swishing sound Swish, swish, but while I'm brushing my teeth And having so much fun I never let the water run No, I never let the water run I never let the water run No, I never let the water run <laughs> Barney, my dad showed me how to use dental floss to clean in between my teeth. Oh. Look, I remember to pack dental floss. Oh. See, I just run it between my teeth mm -hmm. and it tastes like peppermint. Oh, yum! <laughs> peppermint does taste good. And using dental floss is a great way to keep your teeth healthy. Oh, taking care of your teeth is very important, my dear Scooter. Oh, uh, nuts, Miss Ella. I mean, I got a nut stuck between my teeth. Oh, well, Scooter, now would be a very good time to floss. Uh, but I'm flossing, I'm flossing. Now, how do you say this stuff works? Well, not quite like that, my dear. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, not at all like that. Uh, you say you put it between your teeth, right? Uh -huh, so but, far, so good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. That's good. I like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. My mouth and my teeth feel fresh and clean. Oh, mm. mine too. And no more worms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's germs, sissy. No worms. I know. <laughs> right? Oh, that's right, baby buff. We've brushed away the worms. And, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the germs. <laughs> I don't want to forget this. I'll put it right next to Annie. Annie? Who's Annie? This is Annie. I've had her since I was a little girl. Oh, a baby doll. I just love baby dolls. Can I play with her? Can I? Can I? Sure, baby bop. Oh, good. Hey, I know. Let's all play house. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go play in the classroom. Oh, okay. Ay, ay, ay. This place is a mess. You guys go ahead. The treehouse could use a little cleaning up after our popcorn party. I'll stay to help you, BJ. I'll help, too. The three of us can get this mess cleaned up in no time at all. Good. Okay, we got some house to play. Come on, everybody oh, okay. I'll be the mommy. Go, 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 go. Anybody want some more popcorn? Uh, Scooter, we're trying to get this place cleaned up. Oh, hey, I can help. I can help, yeah. Why, Scooter, I do believe you've helped quite enough for one day. <laughs> oh, I can never help my friends enough. Nope, never, never. <laughs> so, uh, hmm, give me something to do. <laughs> Annie's just about finished with her bath. Here's the towel. Oh, bath time is a really fun time. You scrub a dub dub with soap in your tub. Um, Barney, know what? What? Sometimes I scrub so much, yeah. the soap makes lots and lots of bubbles. <laughs> Ooh, I love bubble baths, especially at Aunt Paula's. She has some bubble bath soap that feels so good, and it smells like grape soda. Oh, <laughs> well, taking a bath every day does make you feel good, and it keeps your body clean and healthy. Oh, I love to splash in the bath. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Snails? 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 Sometimes I splash too much. I hope I won't get in trouble. But when I take a bath, it's so much fun watching bubble after bubble after bubble. <laughs> oh, when you're splashing around, it is fun to pretend you're a fish or a froggy or a duck. Quack, quack. But don't forget to wash your arms and legs and your tummy and your back. <laughs> wow. Splash, splash. <laughs> Sometimes I splash too much. 
I hope I won't get in trouble. But when I take a bath, it's so much fun watching bubble after bubble after bubble. Oh, oh when you're splashing around, it is fun to pretend you're a fish or a froggy or a duck. Quack, quack. But don't forget to wash your arms and legs and your tummy and your back. <laughs> but don't forget to wash your arms and legs and your tummy and your back. My son sneeze. Hi, hi, hi! I'm really sorry, Scooter. Oh, BJ, you really should cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze, sugar. It is the polite thing to do. Oh, Miss Etta is right, BJ. Mm -hmm. It's very important to cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze so you don't share germs with your friends. Yeah, BJ, it's not nice to share your germs. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right, sissy. Yeah. Okay, Barney, next time I'll try to remember to cover my nose and mouth. Okay, here you go, BJ. This will help if you feel another sneeze sneaking up on you. Just turn your head and sneeze into this. Okay, thanks, Barney. Maybe I should try blowing my nose. I... Uh... Uh oh. Uh... Oh, look out, everybody! Ah! Oh! Bless you again. <laughs> With our friends at school and play, we share and share a like each day. I'll share a toy, you'll share a snack. Ooh. You'll share with me and I'll share right back. But there is one thing that you should not share. <laughs> Keep your sneeze to yourself. Don't share your germs with anyone else. Get a tissue off the shelf and keep your sneeze to yourself. With our friends at school and play, we share and share alike each day. I'll share a ball, you'll share a game. You'll share with me and I'll do the same. But there is one thing that you should not share. Keep your sneeze to yourself Don't share your germs with anyone else Turn your head and cover your mouth And keep your sneeze to yourself Every time after I sneeze Give your hands a scrub Use a little soap, please If you think you're going to sneeze Get a tissue off the shelf Keep your sneeze to yourself That's right And keep your sneeze to yourself Annie. You're welcome, Baby Bop. Now I'd better put her back in my suitcase. Annie always goes to the sleepover with me. You know, I think I'm ready for a sleepover. Yeah. Oh, or at least a little nap. <laughs> Come on, sissy. Let's go. Uh-oh. 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 Very good, BJ. That was a very polite sneeze. <laughs> Thanks, Barney. BJ, I'm ready to go now. Bye bye, everybody. Is it time for you to go to your sleepover yet? No, it's not time to go yet. Oh, well, I know it can be really hard to wait for something fun, especially a sleepover party. It sure is, Barney. Can we go back to the classroom now? My aunt's supposed to pick me up there, and I don't want to miss her. Oh, why, sure, Hannah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, everybody. <laughs> 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 Is it safe? Well, it looks like you've got everything together, Hannah. Yeah, I'm all packed and ready to go. 
I can't wait to get to my Aunt Paula's house. That's how I feel when my family goes to visit my grandma and grandpa. Huh? And how I feel when I know my cousin is coming over to play for the day. Oh, it's very exciting to spend special times with family and friends. Oh, Aunt Paula and I always have a wonderful time when we're together. Oh, and I always have a super dee duper time when I'm with all of you. Oh, Barney. Oh. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? Oh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> oh. oh, she's here. My Aunt Paula's here. I've got to go. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, oh. Barney. Bye-bye. Have fun at the sleepover. Barney, I'd better get going, too. My mom said I could help her make dinner. I need to go, too. My dad's helping me with my science project. Hey, Jeff, you want to help? Sure, that'll be fun. Okay. Bye, well, bye, so everybody. Bye. Have a great time. again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. Finger painting is a fun way to get messy, and washing your hands with warm soapy water is a great way to clean up. BJ learned to cover his mouth and nose when he sneezes, so he doesn't share germs. And it's important to brush your teeth after you eat. Keeping clean keeps you healthy. And remember, I love you. <laughs> fun it is to see your favorite dinosaur. Now imagine how much fun it is to see your favorite dinosaur in his very own stage show. Is everyone ready to have a stupendous time? Get ready for Barney's Big Surprise, the live video recording of his first ever national stage show tour. Join Barney, Baby Bob, and a host of old and new friends as they come together to celebrate a, oops, it's a surprise. Ooh, I want to tell. There's music, laughter, and fun galore as Barney brings all his very special friends into your very own home. You'll see Mother Goose, Professor Tinkerputt, and many, many more. So get ready to clap your hands because this is one super de duper surprise you'll never forget. With a cake this big, I think I need everyone's help. Don't miss Barney's Big Surprise, now available on home video from Lyric Studios. Side. It's nice outside. All right, concentrate. I met her in my pajamas. In the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. In my pajamas. All right, in my pajamas. In the Bahamas. First day of school, my teacher said, Why don't you draw a picture for your parents? So I drew a picture of an alligator and I named him Terrence. When I gave that picture to my mom, she said, I love pink alligators. 
pictures Then she bought some magnets and she put my picture on the refrigerator And she said she put it there so that everyone would see how much she liked my picture and how proud she is of me. Now when the teacher asks me why a drawing takes so long, I say, cause it's a refrigerator picture for my Refrigerator, refrigerator picture for my mom. Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. it when the whole family takes a walk together. Me too. Can I push the stroller? Daddy, I want to push the stroller. I think we should all take turns pushing the stroller, don't you? That's all right with me. Okay. Well then, are you ready for our walk? Where is mother? Where is mother? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, Mom? Very well, I thank you. Let's all play. Let's all play. Where is Father? Where is Father? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, Dad? Very well, I thank you. Let's all play. Let's all play. Well, I think. 
Isn't the baby so cute? He's such a bouncy little baby boy. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not very little, but I'm very bouncy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What are you doing? We're playing family. Oh, that's good. It's nice when families play and have fun together. Oh, BJ, you're so cranky. Ooh. Well, Sissy, you're the noisy one. I'm not. Or two. I'm not. Or two. Noisy, noisy, noisy. Oh. I'm not. Cranky, cranky, cranky! Uh, no way, sissy! Oh, way, BJ! Way, way! Oh, my. Oh, that doesn't sound like a happy brother and sister. Big baby! You're the big baby. Well, you're a, a, a floopity boot. <laughs> oh, there's no such thing as a floopity boot. Yes, there is. And you're it! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, I, I'm never talking to you ever again! Oh, oh, good, because I'm not talking to you either. Good! I'm going downstairs! Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, nuts! It's no fun when brothers and sisters are mad at each other. You're so right, Scooter. Oh, I do hope they'll make up and be friends again. I do. I'm not a slowpoke, and I'm not a whiner either. I don't care what BJ says. Hi, baby. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Barney! Sometimes my brother makes me so mad! Well, I can see you're really upset, Baby Bop, but sometimes everybody gets mad. It's even true for your mom and dad. So if that feeling gets a hold of you, Tell me some things that you might do. Oh, well, there's lots of things I could do. Like, sometimes I run or jump up and down. Or color with black and red, you do? Or I might hold tight to an old stuffed animal. Mine's a teddy named Fred. <laughs> and then what? Then I talk about my feelings with a friend. Or a teacher or my mom or dad. And after I do, it seems to be true. Sometimes, hi, hi, hi. I make a fist or stamp my feet or scream with lots of power. Yeah. Or I sing a song that's fast and loud once I sing for half an hour. Whoa. Then I talk about my feelings with a friend or a teacher or my mom or dad. So mad at Baby Bop? No, oh, because. BJ, when you're not angry with Baby Bop, what do you like best about her? Well, I guess I like the way she dances <laughs> and her little giggle. But that's only when I'm not mad at her. Baby Bop, are you mad at BJ? Yes. Why? Just cause. Baby Bob? Yes, Barney? Well, I know you're mad at BJ right now, but if you weren't, what would be your favorite thing to do with him? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I'd go for a walk with him and he pulled me in my little red wagon. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon.
Ooh, yay! <laughs> oh. Hi, BJ. Hi, sissy. I'm not talking to you! Yeah? Well, I'm not talking to you either! Oh, sometimes brothers and sisters fight, but they still love each other. Ashley, do you and your sister ever argue? Sometimes, when we don't agree. Uh-huh, we like different things. Like, I want a cat, but Ashley wants a dog. And I like to sleep with the light on, but Alyssa likes the light off. I like loud music, and I like soft music. <laughs> if you don't like the same things, how do you get along? Yeah, we like each other because we're different. Being different is what makes each of you special. BJ, what's different about your sister that you like? Uh, well... I guess I like it that she's little. <laughs> Baby Bob, what do you like about your brother that's different from you? Well, he's big. <laughs> Did you say big? Yes. Big. Little. Wow. Big. Looks like they're still mad at each other. I'm afraid you're right, Robert. Maybe we should go check on Baby Bob. She seems pretty angry. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll go with you, Jeff. <laughs> BJ was pretty upset, too. He sure was. Oh, brothers and sisters can be very different, can't they? Yes, even twin sisters can be very different. But that's exactly what makes me, me. And Ashley, Ashley. That's right. If Alyssa and I did everything the same way and liked all the same things, then no one could tell who's who. Oh, but you two are different and very special in your own way. You are special. You're the only one. You're the only one like you. That's right. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Because you are special. Ashley is to me, especially when we argue. Yeah, but it's even harder not to have you for my friend. Well, we'll keep trying to help BJ and Baby Bop be friends again. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> Hey there, BJ. What you doing? Oh, looking at books. Oh. oh, I think this is one of Baby Bob's favorite books. Is it the squirrel that could whirl and twirl? <laughs> I'm nuts for that book. 
no. Well, perhaps you're holding the rickety chickadee. Oh, oh or the pleasant pheasant, <laughs> or the foul owl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the stinky skunk and the elephant's trunk. Oh. I like to read this to... Well, I used to like to read this to Baby Bob. I wish... Well, I wish... I wish... That you had a new bike? No. I wish... I wish... That you had a big ice cream cone? No. I wish BJ and I weren't mad at each other. Would you like me to read a book to you? No, thanks. I like it best when BJ reads to me. <laughs> he makes reading books fun. <laughs> I like the radio. I love to watch TV. But every day I make some time for something good to read. Books are fun. Books are great. Let's sit down with a book. Every time I take a look Cause books can take me anywhere That I want to go Books help my imagination grow That's right <laughs> Books are fun Books are great Let's sit down with a book today Books are fun Books are great Isn't book time yet? Oh, I just can't wait To read a book <laughs> Both of you. Oh. Oh, hey, everybody. It's my good friend, Tommy DePella. Hi, Mr. DePella. Hi, everybody. Please call me Tommy. Okay. Oh, Tommy wrote the book BJ and Baby Bob Want to Read. That's right, Barney. And I drew the pictures, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you read your book to us, Mr. DePella? Sure, BJ. It's a story about me when I was a little boy about your age. Oh, cool. It's called... The Baby Sister. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> What's the matter, BJ? Oh, I'm just having a little trouble with sissy, Tommy. Well, you know, BJ, it can be really nice to have a little sister. Just listen. Okay, I'm going to get my blanket. All right. Oh, I just love <laughs> Tommy had a mother, a father, two grandmothers, one grandfather, lots of aunts and uncles, an older brother, Buddy, and a dog named Tootsie. <laughs> and lots and lots of cousins. Wow. So when Tommy's mother told him that she was going to have a baby, Tommy said, can I have a baby sister with a red ribbon in her hair? <laughs> we'll see, his mother told him. Can I do something for the baby's room, Tommy asked his mother. I want to paint a picture for the wall. Of course you can, his mother said. And see, here's me when I was a little boy, painting pictures for the baby's room. Oh, oh. look. <laughs> oh, those are pretty pictures. <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> As the months passed, Tommy's mother's tummy grew bigger and bigger. Wow. The baby's in there, she told Tommy, pointing to her tummy. Tommy leaned his head against her. Hi, baby, 
he whispered. <laughs> that night, when Tommy and Buddy were asleep, their mother told their dad that it was time to go to the hospital. Don't forget to wake up Tommy when you get home, Joe, and tell him if he has a new baby sister or a baby brother. I won't forget, Floss, I promise, Tommy's father said. As soon as he got home early in the morning, Tommy's dad woke him up. You have a baby sister, Tommy. <laughs> when can I see the baby? When can I see mom? Are they coming home tomorrow? Oh, slow down, Tommy, his dad told him. They have to stay at the hospital for a few days at least. On Sunday, his dad went to the hospital to get his mother and his baby sister. Everyone else waited at the house. Nana Fall River and Nana, his Irish grandmother, his grandfather Tom, Uncle Charles and his girlfriend Viva, Aunt Nell, Buddy, and Tootsie. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy heard the car pull into the driveway. The door opened and there was his mother holding a small bundle in her arms. Tommy hid behind the big armchair as everybody crowded around his mom and the new baby. Oh. Where's Tommy? His mother asked. Here I am, Tommy oh. shouted, jumping up from behind the armchair. Here I am. <laughs> his mother kissed him. Then Nana Fall River said, Firenze, Florence, let Nana have the baby. My friend, Nana Fall River said, turning to Tommy, sit down so you can hold your new sister. Tommy sat in the big armchair, and Nana placed the warm bundle in his arms and folded back the blanket. Tommy's baby sister, Maureen, with a red ribbon in her hair, looked up at him. And Tommy was the happiest boy in the world. The end. <laughs> Thanks for reading your book to us, Tommy. Good story. Oh, <laughs> I like the part where you got to hold your baby sister the day she came home from the hospital. Oh. Yeah. Was your little sister really that special to you? She sure was, BJ. In fact, she's still my best friend in the world. Oh. Oh. Here's a picture of the two of us. <gasps> wow. I was about your age, BJ, and Maureen was about your age, baby Bob. Oh, she's giving you a big hug. <laughs> And I still give him lots of hugs. <laughs> oh, hello there, Maureen. Hey, everybody, this is Tommy's little sister, Maureen. But she's all grown up now. <laughs> you see, BJ, Baby Bob, brothers and sisters are more than just members of the same family. They can be friends for life. That's right, Barney. <laughs> it's great to do things with a big brother, like riding bikes, or feeding the birds, or taking walks. In fact, we're going to spend the afternoon in the park together. So, goodbye, everybody. Really great to see you. Bye, Barney. Bye, Barney. Bye, Barney. Bye, Barney. Bye, Barney. I'm sorry I got mad at you, sissy. I'm glad I have a little sister like you. And I'm glad I have a big brother like you, BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we're real close friends. We stay up late and talk at night. Other times we don't get along. There are even times we fight. But I know he's always there And I know he'll always care He's my brother I love my brother <laughs> I've given her a great big hug <laughs> When she was feeling bad And then again I said some things that really made her mad Yeah But I know she's always there And I know she'll always care She's my sister I love my sister He's my brother I love my brother It's nice to see your brother and sister happy again. 
friends, too. <laughs> well, happiness is always more fun when you share it with a friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? other anymore, BJ. Aw, uh, me too, sissy. Hey, come on, let's go fly kites. <laughs> but I don't want to fly kites. Hey. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> bye, bye. 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 I guess I better be going, Barney. Me too. See you yeah. later. Bye, Barney. Bye. 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 Hey everybody, it's time for Barney Says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. Families can have lots of fun together, but sometimes we get angry at our brothers and sisters. If we think about what we like about our brother or sister, we won't stay angry very long. Brothers and sisters can be best friends, even when they're grown up. I'm glad when friends make up and share a hug. And remember, I love you. <laughs> Everyone's favorite dino starring in his very first cosmic adventure, Barney in Outer Space. When Barney and his friends discover a new friend on another planet, they zoom off to meet her, learning about the wonders of the universe all along the way. We're in outer space, all right. Come along as these space cadets explore new worlds and make new friends, including a real live astronaut. Our spaceship has a guest. <laughs> With plenty of great songs and lots of imagination, it's an adventure you won't soon forget. So grab your spacesuits, because this super de duper spaceship is about to blast off. Don't miss Barney in Outer Space, now available on home video from Lyric Studios. It certainly is a great day for getting, so let's go! If you love great stories... I can show you where to look. Big dinosaurs. Whoa! <laughs> Am I big enough? And a whole lot of numbers. Hey, everyone, I found the number two in Texas! Then get ready, because... It's time for counting! The newest home video from Barney. Come on, let's practice one, two, three. When the numbers on Stella the Storyteller's alarm clock wind up missing... Most of the numbers are missing. It's up to Barney and all his friends to help her find them. Great idea. Let's go. Get ready for lots of wonderful stories. Okay. Once upon a time, in the wall of a farmer's cottage, there Plus fun and music four. galore. And great numbers like 12, 9, and 4. That's a catchy little rhyme. <laughs> Learning how to count has never been this much fun. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I, I 
Don't miss It's Time for Counting, now on home video from Lyric Studios.